The building behind me here at 230 West Moorhead Street hasn't always been home to the Reesville City Hall, but the structure is a wonderful example of a historic building and how it can be repurposed and serve as a vital hub in the downtown area more than 80 years later. Ground was broken on April the 30th, 1936 for United States Post Office in Reedsville. On March the 9th, 1937, less than a year later, the post office was officially dedicated in a ceremony attended by the Postmaster General, the Governor, and four congressmen. The building was designed by High Point architect Louis F. Voorhees. At first glance, the building appears to be classically conservative, but look more closely. Both the interior and exterior display a modernistic Art Deco style ornamentation. When the post office decided to locate to its present location on Piedmont Street, the city of Reachville purchased the building in 1979 from the federal government for $100 and $18,000. Renovations were completed and the new Reedsville City Hall was dedicated on December the 17th, 1980. The city kept the building's architectural character with the American Eagle still above the two front doors and the original light fixtures remain both outside and in the interior lobbies. Patrons who pay their water bills need only look up to see a historical treasure, a mural painted by New York City artist Gordon Samstag in 1938. The mural, named Tobacco, was part of a United States Treasury program that sought to bring quality art to public buildings. Today, Reedsville residents come to City Hall for a variety of reasons, to pay water bills, to get a building permit, or to attend a Reedsville City Council meeting. Over the years, the use has changed, but the charm and historical significance of the building has remained for residents to enjoy for years to come. Reedsville City Hall serves as a fine example incorporating the past into the future. Thank you for joining us.